If you need to stay more noticeable on the street or just want to up the style of your 2007 to 2018 JK Wrangler, these Red Rock roof mounted LED taillight spoilers will be a mod that you'll want to look at. Now these will be a great addition for the JK owner who wants some extra LED lighting on the back to make you more obvious on the road, especially if you have any large cargo on the back that may obstruct your other lighting. Now the lighting here will have a dynamic approach when it comes to the style and complement the hardtop quite nicely if you prefer more of a unique and non-traditional approach when it comes to third brake lighting. This kit will feature two wide yet low profile spoilers that'll mount to either side of the hardtop and look pretty inconspicuous with a fully black construction and similar body lines on the top to the hardtop. Now when you hit the brake pedal, a large contoured strip of bright LEDs will illuminate, notifying other drivers more than just the factory third brake light, especially if it's covered from a larger tire or rear mounted cargo. Now I think one of the most notable features though is the location of the lighting, which compared to other third brake lights, being mounted high up will only make you more noticeable when it comes to safety. Now these lights and the housings will be strong, able to hold up to whatever situation, no matter where you take your Jeep, made of a tough ABS plastic material. Now the lenses on the front will be made of an automotive grade plastic and will have a fully sealed construction to protect the LEDs from any dust or water that they could come in contact with. Now I think the best of all is that these are going to be incredibly easy to install with no modification or additional wiring, thanks to the auto grade adhesive on the bottom and the included brackets to mount to the hardtop, as well as the fully plug and play wiring harnesses. Now getting into price, this will come in at about $200 for the entire kit, and I think for what's included and the build, that that's a very fair price point. Now what I like most about this set is that it's super eye-catching, which helps in the safety and style department, and it will also be plug and play with no modification required, so this is an easy mod that anybody could do. Now when looking at other third brake light solutions, a lot of them will usually relocate the factory option, elevate it over the spare, or they may be integrated into the spare, which could potentially be blocked again if you have that large cargo on the back. Now I think if you like the extra style points that you're getting in addition to the functionality that this kit brings to the table, then this is gonna be a good set for you. Now install will be straightforward, but I am still gonna give it a light two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, just because you are gonna be routing some wires here and it may take you a little bit of time, roughly two hours to get the job done with some basic hand tools. However, that is going to wrap it up for me. Let's go ahead and head over to the shop and check out a detailed breakdown of what the install looks step-by-step -step right now. Tools used for this install, a Phillips head screwdriver, a five millimeter Allen wrench, a plastic pry tool, a 10 millimeter socket, and a 3 8 electric ratchet. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to install our spoiler here on our Wrangler, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do before we try to install our lights on our vehicle is we have some brackets here and some Phillips head screws that we're going to have to use. They're going to go in this slot here, that's what's going to hold it in place. So we have two of them, one on this one and one on this one. I'm going to show you how to put these on right now. So what we're going to do is take this bracket right here, which is supplied in the kit, and stick it down in place and get it started. And they give you these Phillips heads with a locking washer and a flat washer. I'm going to start these. Same with this one here. And now I'm going to take my Phillips screwdriver, tighten them up. And now you're going to want to repeat that same process on the other light. Now that we have our brackets on our light, now what we're going to do is remove this plastic cover. I'm going to take my plastic uh, pry tool here, pop the cover off. So now we're going to remove these two 10 millimeters right here. Now we're only going to do one side at a time. That way uh, our glass doesn't really move. I'm going to take my 10 millimeter on my 3 8 gun, remove these. Okay. So now we're going to install this bracket. I'm going to take it like that and get it in place. Put in our two 10 millimeters that we took out previously. these started and then I'm going to take my 10 millimeter again on my gun and run them in. And now you're going to want to repeat this procedure on the opposite side. 
So now that we have our brackets on, we're gonna install our light. And as you can see, we have double-sided tape here. You're gonna to wanna to remove yours. We're not because we're gonna be removing this. Uh, in the kit, they give us some adhesive promoter. And what you're gonna to wanna to do with that is this whole upper area here, you're gonna to wanna to clean with that and make sure this is all dirt free. You get all the grease off of it. And then what you're going to do after you do all that, you remove your double-sided tape. You're gonna put your light in place like this. And get this so it's ready to bolt down. And I'm gonna run your cord down like this for now. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start our two five millimeter Allen head bolts here. Get them started. And you wanna just gonna to wanna to push down as hard as you can. I'm gonna take my five millimeter Allen head uh, wrench here and I'm going to tighten these up. And then you're gonna to want to push down all along the top of it to make sure that the double-sided tape sticks and holds it in place. So now we're gonna install our cover back in place. And now you're gonna to wanna to repeat this whole install procedure on the opposite side. So now I opened our back tailgate up and what I'm gonna do is lift up our glass here and feed our wire down behind here. I'm gonna let this open up and reach up in here, grab our wire and pull it down through. So now what you're gonna do is I'm just gonna pull a rubber here out a little bit, like so. And I'm gonna get a wire back behind it and run it along the back here. And we'll fish it down. I'm gonna do the same back here. Just pull it out a little bit like that. And tuck our wire down inside. And then when we get down here, I'm just gonna lift and move it out of the way. And feed this wire inside the vehicle. Like I said, you gotta just pull the rubber out a little bit like that. And it'll go right behind it. And now we have it inside the vehicle. I'm gonna show you how to drop it down into where our tail light is. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna remove my tail light. That way I can see when I drop my wire down inside. I'm gonna take my Phillips screwdriver here, remove these two screws. And on the bottom one here, I'm just gonna take these two out. Once we get those loose, just move our tail light out of the way. I'm going to disconnect the electrical connector here and pop it out of place. Now we'll drop our wire down inside. So now what we're gonna do is take this wire and you're gonna see these other wires here that drop down inside here. There's a plug that's down in here. We're gonna take this and you can see push it down in and it'll go down into the socket and then we're just going to pull it through the tail light. So now we're going to pull that little harness that we just fed down through there. We're going to get all our wire pulled through and drop the excess wire down back inside. Leave this part hanging out. Now in the kit they give us this uh, adapter harness here. We're just going to plug this in like that. And as you can see, this is the connector for the roof light right there. Plug that one in, like that. Tuck these back inside. And we're gonna take our factory tail light. Plug that in. We'll get everything back inside. Reinstall our light. Put in our two Phillips screws. And I'll run these in with my Phillips screwdriver here. And now that we have those two tight, you're gonna to wanna to repeat this whole install procedure on the opposite side. That wraps up this review and install of our Red Rock roof mounted LED tail light spoiler for 07 to 18 Jeep Wrangler JKs. Thanks for watching and for all things Wrangler, keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.